guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to show you guys the gear that I wear to ride my motorcycle. It was a pain in the butt to find women's gear. So I'm going to show you what I found and what I really like to ride in. Let's get to it. Okay. So the first thing is the helmet. This is a new one I got from Cycle Gear. Um, it is a built Techno 2.0 Bluetooth. So it has a built-in Senna. Um, so that's nice, and it's DOT approved. I really like it, it's very snug. Um, it does have a visor that comes down inside. I can get it down. Makes her look like a police officer. <laughs> Not as bad as your dad, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, wheel on the background. <laughs> it's very nice, very snug. It does have a mic right here in the front, and you can position it anywhere you really want it. Yeah. And then I plug my GoPro in here and a separate mic and there's the other mic. Just because the quality of the Senna isn't the greatest, but it, the purpose is just to hear and Jared and I when we go riding, it's great. So, so. we can talk to each other and stuff. Yeah, we're not recording the uh, what we're saying through the Senna, we're recording through the GoPro anyway, so it doesn't matter. Unless we're using the Bluetooth backpack. Which isn't the greatest and Jared just got that and the quality But is for you and I, since poor. we both have GoPro, we'll just use our Sony mics. Mm -hmm. yeah. and just take twice as long to edit videos, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. And the it. price, the did you tell them the nice. price? Um, this was on sale, actually, so I got it for $233, I believe that's what it came out to be, and 72 cents. No, I don't know, <laughs> but it's $233. Um, so that's just what I wear. It's very nice, very comfy, Matte black. and I love it. Matches the bike. Look at that beautiful bike in the background. <laughs> so now, moving on from this. Oh, it's pause it no. oh <laughs> it's uh it's 90 degrees here guys and it's very very hot yeah it's ridiculous um this jacket this is the alpine renee women's jacket and it doesn't come with a a back protector back protector yeah most they of them stop for a second most of them don't, don't. Yeah. um but uh, underneath here i got the alpine back protector um inserted in there it comes with shoulder and elbow pads, and it's very nice. Um, it's actually very stylish. One of their more stylish jackets. Yeah. So I put it on. <laughs> um, it hugs around the waist, which is nice. Can you step back into the sun? Oh, Everything's sorry. just like really dark, so it's hard um, to see. So it, there we go. Well, I mean, it's a dark jacket. Yeah. That doesn't help. I know, but now but I can it see it. it hugs. It hugs the frame, it's nice and long in the back, so if I'm riding, it covers everything. Yeah. Position's nice. It's a little stiff once you put the backrest in, or back pad in, but um, that's okay. I like it, I love it. And the material in here is nice and silky and yeah, soft, yeah. so it's kind of cooling inside when I'm wearing it. Um, it was hard to find a jacket, but we found this actually in California at a bike shop, but I can find a link. dealer? Yeah. Yeah, it was at a Pillia dealer, yeah. And you got a crazy deal on it, too. I did. They were running a sale on this one only, and they only have one size left. And this is a USA 6, but it's European 42. Um, I'll put the link. I found a link um, on the website or you on, tell them your online. Did you your stats? Oh, yeah, I haven't told you guys my stats. Here's a pocket. Pretty cool. Um, you can put your phone in here and everything. But my stats right now, I'm 5'4". I'm 115 pounds. And I have more of an athletic build, so that's why finding gear was really, really hard yeah. for me. And any anytime I shop really for any clothing, bathing suits, whatever, I always have to try it on just because it usually fits one place but doesn't the other. So it was a pain to find my motorcycle riding pants. That was the biggest problem because we went to a bunch of stores and they had like 30 options for men. Show them. And they only had like two options for women and they were big and bulky. And so I went online. And actually, the first company I found that someone suggested was Ugly Bros, and their gear is actually very, very it's nice, really cool. high quality, yeah. and nice armor in the knees um, and the hips. However, I got a size 26 to start. Um, I think that's what it was. It was 26 by 32. No, Twiggy. It was Twiggy, just size 26. Sorry, yeah. Twiggy 26. Um, and it was nice. It, it was fine to put around my feet, and then as soon as it was trying to get over my calves it became a pain in my butt. And then finally, going around my thighs, I was just like, if this is gonna be this hard to put on, I am not gonna wanna go riding. So I finally got up over my thighs, and then trying to get over my butt, it just, it got stuck. And the waist was huge. And then by the time I got it all the way up, my waist, it was way too big. I'm not a size 26 waist. Yeah. But, um, oh, 
on nice feet. Uh, so when I would bend over, it was just all the way out here, and then I tried putting a belt, and I was like, I don't want to wear a belt. It's going to scratch up the tank. And so the first pair of pants, the next pair of pants that I ordered were these ones. Look at that. The Revit. So you got to step out. Oh, gosh. This one. You gotta the turn. Revit <laughs> Madison 2 jeans. These are dark gray. And they're a size 26 waist and 32 length. So like the inseam. Um, so these are actually jeans. I'm not a fan of jeans, but I bought them because they're supposed to be very safe. They have built-in knee protectors, no hip protectors, but um, you can buy some and insert them in. So I'm going to try these on and I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, so this is what they look like on. One, I'm not a fan of jeans, so putting these on is very uncomfortable. Um, these are Cordona, Cordor Gosh, I can't talk. Cordura denim with reinforced Kevlar in the impact areas. Um, so they're not just normal jeans. Yeah. If you slide, you won't tear right through. Um, so bending over, oh, my underwear's already coming out. That's all right. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll have a jacket that covers it, but yeah. it's still, I, I don't like the feeling of like, There's, they need to things stretch. riding down. With having a more of an athletic body, you do want some stretch when yeah. you wear really anything. So these were the ones I wasn't in love with them. So this is what they look Still like. some of the best ones though. Yeah. yeah. But if I have to put these on, I'm not excited to go riding. No. You should put on gear that you like. It's gonna make you excited to ride. So I'm gonna show you guys the next pair. Actually, I'll just hold it up right now. So these are the Dionysi. They're yeah. Drake Air women's textile pants. So these are actually Step my there. favorite. Yeah. Favorite, absolutely love them. Um, so let me put these on and I'll show you, but they do have little knee protectors right here. Bam. They don't come with hip, but you can purchase uh, hip protectors and put them in here. The men, actually I actually have a pair like this for men's and they come with built-in hip protectors. I don't know why they do it for women. Shame yeah, on weird. you. But well, yeah. <laughs> they do have a zipper that goes all the way around and you can find one of their jackets and zip it on and you got like a waffle on onesie on. Um, that's not going anywhere, but they also have zippers right at the bottom, goes all the way down, I guess all the way up. <laughs> and then they have diagonal zippers, nice, deep, they go very far down. So you can put your phone in there, wallet, whatever you want. And if you do get hot while you're riding, guess what? That's so windy. Bam! Oh wait. Bam! <laughs> Get some airflow in there. Yeah. Okay, so these are a size 42 in case you are interested. Like I said, I'm 5'4", 115 pounds. And this is what they look like. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. There's a nice, nice length. If I go to sit on a motorcycle, they're not riding up, which is very nice. Um, I did have to tighten them a little just because they were loose around the waist. There's a little Velcro seal right here. Which is nice. And you can tighten really as tight as you want or as loose as you want it. Um, they will ride down. But like I said, I'm going to be wearing a jacket. The All Star, All Pine, All Pine Star jacket. Um, let me sit on the, let me sit on. I was literally just going to say that. My R3. <laughs> and show you. These are absolutely, absolutely comfortable. I recommend them 100%. And the funny thing is, when I got these in, Jared saw them and was like, I'm gonna order some. Yeah. So he went online and checked them out and you're not gonna regret it. You won't. And even if you do hit this, bam, my knee's not protected. Yeah, that's boom, really Boom, nice. boom, boom. So, so. That is kind of a shame how far out that comes. It does, but I mean, no. it's what happens when you have a small waist and. Yeah. But I have a jacket that's gonna cover it so it's fine. And the nice thing about these is that if I do wear them somewhere, like a huge event or anything, um, I can literally wear tights under these and I can just strip them off, them off and bam, I'm in a new outfit. Yeah. So. But I think um, they look cool. I think they're awesome. Let me put on my, let me show you guys my shoes. These, people are always yelling in the background, dang. These are also Dainese Street Biker shoes. They are a size, US, they go by European sizes, so this is a 5.5 US, which I'm not, I'm a six and a half. But European size, they are 37, okay? Um, they're very nice. Yeah, they look really cool too. Very, very nice. I found these actually at a Ducati shop in California. Westlake, Ducati Westlake. <laughs> right before I took my safety course, I needed a pair of shoes, yeah. and it was perfect. 
So let me put these on and I'll get back to you. <laughs> All right, so here are the shoes, just one pair. Oh, spider. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, you got turned. So there's a zipper right here, like there I said on go. the pants. Look at this inside oh, of this. Yeah. Nice, mesh. breathable mesh. Um, these are very, very comfy. They have little, uh, like, hard. Medial protection. Yeah. Right on the bones, and then right here on the toes. And in the heels. And the heels, really, it's just a sturdy bike shoe. Yeah. It's perfect, very comfortable, very stylish. When I first got them, though, they were a little stiff, just like with really any shoe. <laughs> you can face it up here now <laughs> with any shoe. So it took a while to break in, but after, you know, taking a course, I feel like we are having the worst luck joke? right now with yeah, videos like, a video. What is going on? We've got people yelling across the street. We've got cars driving by, trucks. We're trying to film videos here. Oh, gosh, anyway, um, <laughs> lost train of thought. Um, they went through the pouring rain, through awful temperatures. Yeah. They're broken and very nice, very comfortable. When I first started wearing them, I actually wasn't stoked just because they weren't broken in. And now I will wear them every day. I don't care. Very comfortable. Uh, so, this is what it would look like with these pants. Bam. On the motorcycle. Boom, 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 boom. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super stoked about this, though. Yeah. On the motorcycle, get some air in there. Just because seeing that it's 90 degrees. Oh, now there's a school bus coming by. <laughs> Might as well have just the whole neighborhood on, on fire. <laughs> Uh, and then the last thing are my gloves. Uh, some people have been asking in my past videos what kind of gloves these are. If I can. They're Revit Fly 2 gloves. These are size small. Small, small, small. Like I said, when I, um, just like the shoes, when I first got these, very stiff, very uncomfortable, but I mean, it's leather, you gotta break them in. Mine were too. I yeah. have the same ones. Yeah, we do have the same yeah, ones. But now they're really comfortable. So. And they're perforated for airflow. Got protection on the knuckles. You have protection on each finger. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, they're nice. I love it. So that's it, right? That's all I have. I think so. Yeah. Um, and don't worry, guys. When I'm riding, I will be fully geared up. I will have full protection. I'm like half the uh, population on this earth that doesn't wear gear but yeah. yells at us. Everyone if we, we don't. see riding has no helmet on, shorts, and a t shirt, no joke. It's ridiculous. But people give us shit about what gear we wear. Yeah, because they can. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions um, or comments, just put them in the comment section below. I'm going to put a link to every piece of article that I bought in the description below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>